They're they're like, what? Uh, we're we're gonna be set free. Yes, yes, Rin. Uh, yes. Ask her how or ask her how many there are in there, and oh, I'm keeping mercy. an eye on that door. Oh. Woman, how many how many deer guards are in the dining oh, hall? Woman, I love it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. If <laughs> no, it's okay. I I love it. I love the RP. It's great. Uh, the, 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 there's 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 four of us total. Uh, there's there's Sam. He's in. He was in the other room. Hopefully, Sam's okay. Is Sam okay? How many uh, do guard? You're you're you'll be set free. Uh, How many do guard? Uh, we're 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 setting uh, plates for. Uh, oh boy, I don't I don't want to be. Hopefully, this isn't a trap. You're you're not trying to you're not trying to trick us, are you? The, these Do we look like we we be hanging out with Dugar? We're heavily armed. We're here to set you free. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, th th not, not that loud. Of th course. They're setting. Yeah. They're setting plates for. Uh, we had six that are that are eating. Six. There's six in there right now. Yeah. The, the, uh, yes. The, the, the Calder just took out the last the last meals to them. Okay. This just randomly came into my head. Do we have any poison? <laughs> I've been tr That was my plan once so we got in It looks like the last meal was sent out. I think that isn't an option anymore. Yeah, Calder just just took as as you were walking as you were walking in, uh I I, I don't even know what to call you. I, I guess I could call you heroes. Oh, Friends, my yes. my heart is my heart is flustered and beating so fast right now. Oh, knights in shining armor. Oh, so you know, uh, basically they they tell you that Calder took off the last meals, and the 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 woman uh, to the south introduces herself as uh, Arun, and the uh, the other woman that has the the hatchet cleaving the the chickens and the other meat, she introduces herself as Bessa. Uh, and and they both actually show concern for Sam. Is, is, is Sam still okay? He he was he was sleeping in uh in our chambers. Yes, Sam's he's here. fine. Sam's here. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Sam is such a he. Todd loves to talk a lot, but uh, but uh, you know. Yeah, I know. I had to tell him shut up. Oh my goodness. Is it possible that he could probably? Is it possible that you guys can probably cook up some sort of dessert to send out? I don't know. Do, do, does anybody here have poison? Uh, oh, oh, oh <laughs> I, I, I'm, she kind of laughs. Well, I'm, I'm kind of sorry to say, but we're all out of poison right now. But uh, and she kind of laughs. <laughs>, laughs. Is, uh, believe me, if we had poison, we we would have given them, given them poison weeks ago when when we first started doing this this job for them. Is there something in those cookbooks to make them sick that we can make a quick patch well, up? I, 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 I can't read. I can look at the pictures, and that's what we... We just make the food look like the pictures. Oh, my God. Maybe if some, something part of the... the you know, the Harkonvold... You know, this is a feudalistic society, and we are very suppressed in the Harkonvold, and we can barely even... Barely even speak, let alone read. We are the major minority when it. You know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Monty Python there. Sorry. Excuse me, dwarf. I, I'm no wench. I'm, Did you see a live boar be brought in or slaughter? Well, uh, Bess's. She has <laughs> carved up many. Oh, I'm so offended. Oh, oh, by the beard of Zeus, I've never been called a wench before. Unbelievable. You, All of you dwarves are just unbearable sometimes. No, oh, but no, no, hey, Mr. Hush, Dwarf. Hush I, up now. I asked you a question. Oh, see, I want an answer. Oh, oh, oh sure. Ask away, then, then quit yelling and ask. Was there a live boar brought in here? Uh, not live, dead. Recently? Several. Not not recently, probably within the last week. They bring all kinds of things in. Dire dire bears, dire wolves. If he's Dogar, they'll eat anything. Okay. That's all I want to know. Well, why why do you ask? I said that's all I want to know. No. 
Oh, sorry. She kind of goes back to, you know, spinning the chickens. Ugh, are, are we going to be set? Are, are we free to? Uh, what are we free to go? We have to wait till till Calder gets back. Calder's serving them now. You you could. Uh, there's he was taking out the last three plates now. I wouldn't advise leaving now, because if you don't know your way, you'll run into danger. And we got business to take care of before following your ass into civilization. Dave, I I quickly cast invisibility, and okay. I'm going to wait for Coulter to come back. When that door swings open, I would like to go in. Okay. All right. Yeah, good idea. I like that. So deduct your spell points. I like that. I like that idea. Sure. You guys are bantering around for uh, several minutes. Crasher, Ren, Rasmin. What you, Rasmin, you can also remember these uh, these two women. They were on the same caravan that came to Honorhold. Yes, uh, ladies, may I ask, uh, do you know where this other oh. door that your friend didn't go to? Oh, oh they, they, they see you as you, you walk in the... Oh, we, we've only heard, we've only heard tales of, of, oh, of the horned demons like yourself. They, oh my goodness, they do exist. Do you, do you see that, Bessa? Mm, sure enough, I, I, I see that, uh, I see that they exist now. And, oh my goodness! The tieflings exist, and 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 and, and I'm sorry. I'm I'm just so amazed by. And are your horns? Are they are they real? They are, fair lady. If you wish, you may touch them. Oh, looks like you got a fan, Crasher. Well, we we've only read about these and or heard about these in in fairy tales. Oh, they do exist. No, we we don't get many visitors in the Harkenbold. An occasional dwarf elf. Oh, well, I I meant no no disrespect. Mm -hmm. You know, and and also uh, Bessa, she also you know she says no, I don't uh, mean any anything by it as well. They've just never seen a tiefling before, and then they say, oh, what 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 is your what is your question? I'm so sorry, sorry to be rude. No problem, lady. Now. This door I see to the left of me. Do you know where this leads and if there's any enemies possibly that way? Well, the the, the chamber to the north. Um, it goes into the Grand Hall. And to the there should be right outside of uh, our basically our living quarters there's a double door that also leads into the uh into the main quarters uh there's also a, another room as as they call the they call it their trophy room and that is to the north of uh, basically of you know of the dining halls and where does this door lead oh that's that's a uh that is also to another storeroom. Does this storeroom lead to anywhere else, or is it a one-way door? It, it is a one one-way door. Uh, I, I, it's probably about a twenty-foot room. There's uh, the dwarves have. This is where we we salt a lot of the meats, and we basically store them in there, along with other salts and and other fruits. Very well, thank you. Uh, at least we know we won't be surrounded. Mm. No, we, a, we were feeding door six. That leads out of there. Uh, out of uh, are you talking about the? You're talking about the, uh, the 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 storage chamber? No, no, it's just a it's a yeah. twenty. I believe it's twenty by fifteen. And she walks over. Um, Bessa, she walks over and and opens the door for you and and says, "Yeah, have a look." Mm -hmm. Okay. She opens the door, and you know, uh, and it's a pu it's a pitch black room. I mean, there's there's literally no light, like there is here, and you know, in the in the main kitchen. But you know, you can look in, uh, Crasher, and you can see that there's you know, uh, bags of flour, uh, some crates. You see the lots of bags. There's actually piles of salt with you know, basically meat packed into the 
to the salt. And you can see a couple, you know, a couple leg shanks sticking out of it. Uh, then there's some other crates and whatnot in there. Like a like a there's, really really musky smell in here. I'm gonna uh, grab a small bag of flour and hook it up to uh, the back of my backpack. Okay. All right. So you just kind of want to tie it on, take a couple minutes, and tie on a a bag of flour. Yes, sir. All right. Sure. There's a how I mean. There's a you know. There's some other bags and containers in in the cooking area. How much? How much do you want? Also, this is a this is a pile of wood and other tenders and stuff to to keep the the cooking fires going. Much like the you know the other massive piles of wood that you had seen in the. Uh, the crafting area, the, the smithy areas also. I'd say a uh, five pound bag of flour. All right. Sure. So put the, put down a five pounds on your character sheet, five pound bag of flour, and you can, yeah, definitely. But you have it. So just about this time, uh, the door uh, comes back open uh, to the north, and the server, which you guys know his name as as Calder, you know, Bessa and both uh, a room. They've they've mentioned uh, Calder several times by name. So he comes uh, stepping back through the door. Now, as as the door comes open, you put your foot because it starts to swing it's it's a very it's a pretty loose door and i know that you're you're far alone you're just waiting to get into that room so you know you put your foot down there you stop the door and he kind of as you kind of you know walk into the room he kind of gives the door a push he, he thinks it's kind of stuck and and then as he as he turns back around he sees everyone and and drops the drops the plate but now you are in this room here, Farland. So this is what you can see. Uh, and as for, uh, you know, the, the the human that came back in, Calder, he drops this plate as he's face to face with with you, Rasmin, and he's like in, you know, in shock. And you know, the tin cans or well, tin cups are kind of you know, ran, run, running around, you know, rambling around, rolling around on the floor. A couple couple bowls and and uh, one of the uh, another plate like shatters from from hitting the from hitting the floor and and you can see uh, Farland as, as this happens you can hear the you know dishes crash on the floor and you can see a couple of the dwarves you know the, that are out here you can hear them saying that uh, well, I, I think you can speak dwarvish can't you yes yeah yeah you, you yeah. can hear him saying uh, the, the, the these uh, these are definitely not worth the money they can't cook for one and they're breaking more stuff than uh, than we're actually. It's unbelievable. Every day this guy is dropping stuff. I, I I think we may, we we may need to take that guy and throw him off the second story into the gorge. Also, you know, and and you can you, you actually see uh, a total of how many dwarves you see. All right, I'm not gonna not gonna say, uh, but because of everybody else, uh, but you, sure. you know you see. Uh, Food on the tables, a uh, nice warm uh, cooking. Well, I don't want to say cooking, but a nice warm fire. Uh, nice and nice and smells nice and fresh in here. Actually, you can see that you know there's uh, several, you know, on, on top of the sconces. You know, it's a well lit room. On top of the sconces, you can actually tell that there are some oils. You can see some oil bowls on the top of the sconces that are basically giving like a fresh scent uh, to the to the chambers here. You know, mm -hmm. several cha several tables, benches, food all over the place, chairs. You know, bearskin rugs, uh, nice nice fireplace, pretty pretty nice and warm and crispy mm -hmm. in here. Cozy. Yeah, nice and cozy. So, I like to move five feet away from that door in case they come. Okay. Going in there, or uh, Calder comes back out, or anybody comes back out. I don't want to run into them, so I want to be uh, five feet north. Sure. Yep, you can do that. Thanks. Hey, what's hey, up, Robert Crash and Burns? What's uh, up, man? Caller's right in my face. I just Good to see you. Tell him, you know. Nice emoticon. Shush him a little bit and say, 
uh, you know, whisper to him, keep it down. Uh, these group of people that's here with us, they're uh, they're gonna try to help free us. They've already unshackled me, and uh, Sam's in the other room. He's okay, and uh, we're gonna we're trying to help him out. So try not to make too much too much <sighs> noise by dropping any more plates. Oi, <laughs> so, so sir, we're 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 going to be we're going to be taken out of here. Oh, that's that's good news. Yeah, that's what we're that's what we're hoping to do. Can you uh, can you tell us uh, how many uh, Durg are in the other room? Uh, just you know, maybe uh, we can give it, give us anything that can help us decide. Uh, well, sir, I've, how I've we can s- deal with them. Well, 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 yes, I, I remember you from the trip here to Honored Hold. Uh, th- there's a total of six of them. Uh, oh my goodness, uh, I I don't know what to think. Uh, uh, oh my goodness, I'm gonna be going home. But yes, there's there's six Dulgar. Uh, uh, th- there were five, but uh, quite a few hours ago, uh, that they were expecting. I guess it would be you, folks. Uh, uh, but after several hours, uh, uh, I guess the, the the alarms kind of died down, and uh, uh, they weren't expecting you. So uh, I, I just served the last three of their meals, uh, but there are still three. Uh, I, I believe there are still three more uh, here in the, in the hold. Do, do you know wh- where the other three went? Uh, that I have no clue. I, I I'm not permitted to go anywhere. I I, I may not f- travel freely here in the hold. Oh, good news! Uh, gonna uh, are, are we free to go now? How do we get out of this drastic place? My friend, you have to wait patiently, as it will be dangerous for you all to leave in the current situation. Yeah, we don't know if if you don't know where the other three went, they may be roaming around and they might recapture you if you try to leave now. So, so what, do you guys want to what would you have me do? Just act, the just act like the nothing's wrong, or because uh, they were wanting yeah. more drink. Uh, I, I have to take the drink back to them. Well, get some drink and bring it to them. We'll keep your mouth shut. Oh, oh, hey, oh! I'm sorry. I must. I must thought you were one of them, dwarf. Oh. Sorry, but your 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 burly voice. Don't insult kinda, me. I'm not you. You're telling me to to keep my oh, oh, oh. No problem. He he goes over to one of the the tapped kegs and and gets some of the ale out of out of fills up about fills up like six mugs and then proceeds to open up the door again and uh, go Wait, back out. Before yes. You go. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yes. Yes. Is yes, my lady. I was, uh, uh, not really. Is is there any way that I can cast like a spell on these drinks? <laughs> what do you want to cast a spell on? What do you want to cast on them? Uh, the blind and deafness thing on the drinks, and see if we could do that to them, impair them somehow. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Blind and deafness, a uh, level one cleric spell. Do this to a full, but. Or is it a level two spell? It's a level two spell. Blindness, deafness, level two necromancy. Uh, one action, thirty feet. Verbal components, one minute. You can blind or deafen a foe. Choose one creature that you can see within range to make a Constitution saving throw. Now, uh, you have to actually so target one. Yeah. So, so yeah, choose one creature that you can see within range to make a con saving throw. If it fails, the target is either blinded or deafened. Your choice for the duration. At the end of each of its turn, the target can make another Constitution saving throw. So, yeah. So basically, Dang. yeah, you, you, yeah, you can't. You can now if it when he goes through, you can. You know, he tells you that there are three dwarves eating in this chamber. So if you want to follow behind him, you could see one of the targets cast it, but then it would, you know, pretty much be, you know, you you would you would get a you would get a uh, you guys would have a surprise round too. So, but Dave, yes, if there was a touch right. spell. Would you allow that? A ranged touch spell. What spell are you? No, a. If blindness, for example, and deafness, if it was a touch spell, would you allow her to like touch the glass and 
on a tray and then serve it? No, because because it has there has to no? be a okay. no because it, it, it's a a cast on one creature that you can see, and then that creature has to make the con saving throw. I mean, I could see where you gotcha. where you would be a, like kind of enchanting the. You know, enchanting the brew, and then Cut. when the dwarf drank it, he would make the con saving throw. But no, nah, I, I would say that you know that that type of magic would need would probably need to be cast. Gotcha, gotcha. And it it is a little bit after ten. Could we break or what? Oh my goodness, it is right. ten o'clock. So uh, cow, let's uh, take a you know take a quick the door come, the door is going to you know basically open back up, and you can see that. Uh, Calden does come back out with a tray. You know, this tray has a, a bunch of uh, steins, and you know, immediately as as uh, as Calder goes through the door, you you can hear the, the dwarves are just basically giving him a rash of shit. Uh, basically, you know, uh, well, first off, is anybody going to do anything as Calder opens the door and walks out, or is everybody uh, is everybody going to? She's gonna try and use detect poison. See if there's anything we can find to detect poison. Yeah, to see if there's anything in, around us that might be, you know, spoiled or something. We. Yeah, I don't. Nothing looks really <laughs> spoiled. Looks like her mic is muted, so I don't know if she's. In here or not? Maybe. Yeah, concentration up to ten minutes. Uh, uh, verbal somatic material. You leaf. She's already got the c component pouch, I think. Plus, she's got a cross. So, uh, the sense of presence of any poisons, poisonous creatures, or diseases within thirty feet of you. Uh, no, you, you not in here. It's, it's pretty much a. Uh, the the ladies are are keeping this place pretty clean. I mean, they have no choice. I mean. You know, if if they don't, they're gonna get probably beat anyway. So, yeah, everything is pretty much, uh, pretty much clean. A lot, it's it's a lot cleaner and where they're living. You know what I mean? The, the dwarves don't care about anything about them. Just as as long as their food is uh, is done right, that's all they care about. Lewis, what's up, Lewis? Long time no see. Uh, I actually built this map from from scratch, from a blank canvas. Uh, I use uh, Dungeonie. It's an old program from the late '90s, early 2000s. Dungeonie. D U N D J I N N I. I got lucky Anybody and found the program last year. Get him to come back. He Anybody would else? Be the one that had the idea. <laughs> yeah, Ren, uh, you you don't sense anything. Not not with detect poison. So you can go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and take your spell points off, uh, and you don't you don't sense anything. But yeah, I use Dun Genie. D U N D J I N N I. Uh, these connection problems are killing me. Is she back? Oh, I see. She's having trouble. Okay. Yeah. Try try finding one on eBay. Try. Uh, they don't make them anymore. They haven't made them for for years and years and years, Lewis. So it, it's really hard to find one. Grand Marmota. Grand, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You can also, Lewis, you can also yeah, get tile sets do in here uh, from DungeonArts.com, and you can put together do. dungeons. Greg Taylor does a lot of great packs. Uh, also, Zovia here, she has a, a cavern set. And you can actually take a blank canvas on Roll20 and put the pieces down and build your own caverns and maps and stuff. I try and go in one way, we can up behind them by using... Uh, 
we could like somehow lure one of them in here I don't know all right so what do you, what do you guys want to do you see uh, uh you see Calder going out after Ren has detected poison or disease uh, successfully. No, nothing finding, you know, she did not find anything successfully. Uh, so, uh, do you want to go out, Ren? You could type this in the chat if you want. Do you want to follow? I mean, it's going to start combat, but do you want to follow? Uh, do you want to follow him out and at least? you know, cast uh, deafness blindness on, on one of the dwarves or, you know, I'll give you guys, you know, you guys will have advantage on this round. You, you'll you have the element of surprise. They're not expecting anything. You know, Calder even said that, you know, they're they're calling for more, for more ale, so I mean, it's not like they're, they're not going to be drunk. They're not, they're dwarves, so Thanks again, Crash Man. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that, man. It was awesome. Thank you. And we could all rush in, but I don't know if yeah, we I don't know how well that'll play out. <laughs> would would we have, I guess, surprise on that if we? Yeah, you're gonna have surprise. Yeah, everybody will have advantage on attack rolls. You'll definitely have advantage on attack rolls. I mean, there's there's no way that you can have advantage on saving throws, like you know, but you'll still get to take your movement and get in there and get an attack if you want one. I'm looking for other doors, just where I'm at, and uh, their conversation, and if they look like they're getting ready to get get up or anything. And besides that, I'm just waiting patiently. Yeah, they're, they're basically as as Calder comes to the door. Like I said, they're basically yelling at him, asking him what he what he broke now, and you know that he's you know the bowls that he's carrying and and the the steins that he's carrying are are, are worth more than he is, and you know uh, if he keeps breaking things, and you know he's going to suffer the same fate as as the you know one of the last servers, you know his fate. Was you know given to him out the second story window? Yeah, test test. You are you are working. Welcome back. Woo! Welcome back. Yeah, yeah. just grimace. Awesome, Lewis. Awesome. You lost, yeah, out. haven't haven't how, seen how you for would, a while, Lewis. Like if I wanted to, it's been a while. Maybe stealth behind this guy as he goes in, so I can get closer to one of them. Well, it's uh, it, it's Maybe. a dimly lit area, uh, you know, for for how how stealth and stuff works and in Five E is like you, you're trying to use the the lighting to your advantage, you know, the shadows and whatnot. You know, it's not like it's not like you're going to be invisible like Farland. Farland's invisible. That's magic. Unless somebody has true sight, they can see. You know, they can, he can't be seen unless they have true sight. Now you, on the other hand, you're basically trying to, in a brightly lit room, trying to slink against the wall, hoping that they don't see you. You know what I mean? So chances are, you would probably ruin the element of surprise if you were detected. Then they would see that you're there. They would draw their swords and whatnot. So, all right. I was thinking more along the lines of like walking in behind uh, Calder as he goes in. Maybe these guys, since since they're slaves, maybe the Durgar aren't really paying a lot of attention to them. They're just come in and give us our drinks and be gone, you know. And they just continue their conversations with each other. Would that kind of break the surprise? Through? I'll they uh, see me or I'll I'll tell you what. Seeing that you're a wood elf, you are uh, you're smaller. Calder's probably close to six foot tall. Uh, I'll let you uh, walk in stride for stride behind him, and I will give you. Uh, a little bit of a bonus on your stealth check versus their perception. All right, now if if their perception is higher than your stealth roll, then you're noticed. Because remember that you know they're ba they're basically yelling at him anyway, so they're they're probably going to be looking over at him. So I, I will go ahead and, and allow you to do that. So if, you know to kind of go back. I'll, if you want to do that, that's what we'll do now. We'll do a couple we'll do a couple rolls to contest one another. What's up, Highway Pop? Okay. 
Yeah, I just want to tr try to at least get within range of where I can see them, you know, 